This question has two fairly fiddly third questions. Now the first part asks us to simplify a fraction involving thirds. Now then, root 6 cubed just means root 6 times root 6 times root 6. Now root 6 times root 6 times root 6, the first two will just equal 6, so that just equals 6 root 6. Now root 24 can also be made simpler. It's got a square factor. In this case it is root of 4 times 6. Now root of 4 is 2, so it's 2 root 6. So therefore this can be written as 10 lots of 6 root 6 all over 2 root 6. The root 6's both cancel off. So it's 10 times 6 over 2, which is 60 over 2, which equals 30. So the final answer is an integer. Now the second part asks us to add together two fractions involving thirds. Now the method, as always, is to put brackets around the fractions. We then want them to share the same denominator. So this fraction requires a 4 plus root 5, which I put at the bottom, and must therefore do the same on the top. This one requires a 4 minus root 5, and must therefore do the same on the top. They now share the same denominator. Now then, 4 times 4 is 16. Root 5 times root 5 is 5, with a negative. The other two parts will cancel off. So the bottom just becomes 16 take away 5 and then the top is just 4 plus root 5. In a similar way the second fraction would become 4 minus root 5 all over again 16 take away 5. Now then 4 plus 4 is 8 root 5 take away root 5 cancels off and then 16 minus 5 is 11. The answer is therefore 8 over 11.